I'm Bree and this is Gemma and we're at the MCG Woo! and we're filming um, a cyberbullying conference and just interviewing lots of people. There's been lots of different talks about leadership and what bullying is and we've interviewed the teachers about what their, their experience with cyberbullying is and the kids. So I hope you enjoy it. And they have really good muffins, which is a good part of the day. When you think too. about it, you just let things happen a lot of the time. But actually taking responsibility and being a leader would really make a difference. Being responsible, responsibly in a digital world means to us as a table as kind of going out to our own schools and showing others how to be more responsible with their needs or my spaces to lead them. Like, there's no point arguing with them. The definition was a person or group of people that take control of any situation and help them achieve their goals. Okay. Can we give those guys a share? A huge round of A lot of kids seem to tell their secrets. Access to technology is a wonderful thing, and I think we need to be so cautious here that we don't demonise uh, technology. But if kids have access to technology and they're online a lot of the time, their likelihood would have been bullied. The government obviously recognises the problem. What do you think they can do to help? Well, I think the most important thing is to, to give students themselves ownership of this issue, and that's exactly what we've been doing here today. So, as you've seen from all of the presentations from the working groups, students themselves are very conscious with these issues. Um, they want to lead responsibly in a digital world. They want to use the internet for maximum benefit and to minimise inappropriate behaviours. They, they do know what's going on, but they just don't know what they should do or if it's their job to do anything about Shops it. that we did in Bednego and um, it just trained us and made us become leaders so that we can speak out about what we've learned um, in becoming ethical digital citizens. Uh, I, I'm hoping that they'll grow in confidence to report a lot of the issues that you've got. By using text as a barrier, we can keep the real self chained away. When people can hear our voice and tone, we have nothing I think uh, most of cyberbullying is premeditated and people do mean what they say but it is it can be really difficult to misinterpret what someone says and um, yeah take something the wrong way or say something that you don't what really do mean. What do you think should be the number one thing that should happen with cyberbullying? Well most of the time I don't think kids know what to do um, when most of the time there are things that can be done such as um, blocking and deleting the bully, reporting the abuse to the administrator, saving the evidence and um, telling people you trust. As a former teacher, what do you think teachers can do to help stop cyberbullying? Well, I think teachers need to have an open relationship with, with the students. It's got to be a relationship of, of trust um, to understand that students will send um, uh, many messages, a great quantity of messages, uh, back and forth over the internet. But when there's a problem, to, to be able to work with students in an open and honest and trusting way to resolve that, and if there are issues of cyberbullying, to deal with them appropriately.